Well, the Chicago Bears lost the season opener and the home opener. Now, if you have not seen my live reaction video, it's called Chicago Bears versus the Buffalo Bills. I date it and what the year, you know? Uh, 9, 7, 14. So check it out. The link will be down below, okay? So far, I got a lot of views. So I did this last year. Now I'm going to bring it back this year. Now, the first quarter, they got the opening drive touchdown. It looks very good, and I cannot really complain. Then after that, it went all downhill. Now, Buffalo has an awesome running back, okay? He's a veteran. Now, I know you're going to say Bears fans. Team RI, our defense just sucks ass in week one. I agree with you, okay? Don't hit the panic button just yet. It's way too early to say something about this Bears defense. Now, Cutler uh, did not um, do very well, okay? He had two touchdowns and two picks. And another thing is, it really pissed me off. I'm going on a little rant here. They did not run the ball right away. They pass a lot. It seemed like it. Then later in the game, then they want to run. I guaranteed that Matt Fute was very, very mad with Jay Cutler and the other players, you know. At halftime and after the game, I guaranteed he was very pissed off. I would be mad too if I was the running back and Jay Cutler just like to sling it to Brian Marshall and other the receivers. Speaking of receivers, Jeffrey got hurt. I don't know if he got hurt in this game or in the preseason. I never pay attention um, and notice um, he was hurt. So that sucks. And other guys got hurt. Like um, our center is hurt. So it sucks. And Lance Bridge do, did nothing. The same thing for Jalen Allen, the newest member of the Chicago Bears. He's a veteran. Same thing for Lance Bridge. A lot of people are, were dogging on Lance Bridge because he missed a practice to open up his restaurant on Labor Day. Big deal. He's not going to be in the NFL forever. Um, is he a future Hall of Famer? I don't know. Okay, it says right here in the paper, it says give, in, give and a break. Three tumors proves too much for the Bears to overcome an opener. See, turnovers is a big difference. Now, if they eliminate the turnovers, it'd be a different story, a different outcome. And I really thought Bears was going to win this game. Way before they win the overtime. So it sucks. Especially it's a home game. Now we got a huge game. This Sunday night against the former NFC champions. The San Francisco 49ers. In our brand new stadium. Okay. I'll make this short and sweet this part. Okay. Grades. The the Bears. Okay. Quarterback C. Jay Cutler put up good numbers. 34 for 49. That's not too bad. You know, he's a veteran. He's been in the league for a long time. 349 yards, two TDs, and two picks, like I said earlier. And for his rating, is 86.2. It could do a little better, but. You know, it's what it is, what it is. I know a lot of people out there do not like Jay Cutler. You know, he has a great arm. 
and every time he does a press conference, he's not a happy camper. Actually, frankly, he's never a happy camper, so go figure. I don't know if he loves the Chicago um, coaching staff. I don't know what to deal with him. I have no freaking clue. But anyway, but when the Bears needed him to put them on his back, he was unable to do it. Second, a second interception was crushing blow because Jay Cutler should think smart. He's a veteran, like I said before. If they want to take the lead, they should pass it. To Matt Fute. Quit airing it out. Because if you keep airing it out. Eventually the defense will. Know your game plan. I'm getting off subject here. When I play my video games. I love to air it out. And most of the time. I get picked off. Pick six or whatever. And I said help this noise. I gotta um, do a little running. Do a little passing. That's what Jay Cutler should do. But. In this NFL era, the quarterbacks love to air out. They hardly, very rarely, love to run the ball. They don't like to do it as much, you know? I don't know why, they just don't. And that really pissed me off. Running backs, A-. minus. Manfute did, did everything but handle in a difficult, deep ball down the silence. From Jay Cutler for a TD. Yeah, I know that. He should cut the damn ball. He had 169 total yards. 17 out of 82 rushing. And 8 out of 87 receiving. And those numbers could be better. But it's what it is what it is. Receiving. B minus. Brian Marshall had 8 out of 71. 1 TD. And had a crucial fumble. Yeah, that really sucks. Uh, tight end Bennett was 8 out of 70. 1 TD took the blame for um, color first interception. Uh, Jeffrey was 5 out of 71. Okay, he did play. Miss most of the second half with a hamstring injury. I must miss that part. That sucks. I hopefully be ready for week 2. Okay, off of the line, A minus. That's good, but not good enough for the Bears and the coaching staff and all that hoopla, you know. Even with backup, Michael, blah, blah, blah. I don't know all these big words. So, sorry if you don't like that. Center, Robert Gonzalez, I think. The line did its job. Um... Color was sacked twice, of course, but threw for 349 yards. Okay. Now, get this. Listen to this. D-line, C-, minus, of course. They got burned on the running game, and that really makes me mad. Oh, God. Okay, I'm not going to go into every detail, you know. Linebackers, D... Tough day for Lance Bridge, no duh. Three tackles who got caught, blitz, and burn on Fred Jackson. 30-yard run in overtime, yeah. And another thing is, Chris Conte made an awesome interception. Then a couple plays later, he screwed up. And I think Freddie... Fred Jackson force um, no actually Bears force overtime with Robbie Gold's goal um Robbie Gold field goal and I was very happy I thought we got to win overtime but no uh Conte screwed up and the rest is history so I'm very happy I'm sorry I'm very very disappointed why did I say happy for her? I'm a Bears fan not a Buffalo fan so defense backs C special teams C coaching D yeah no shit D very very sucks this okay go figure for Bears players with 70 or more receiving yards eight Bears yeah Bears only caught 
two passes. Wait, no, eight. A uh, Bears who caught passes. See, that's not good. Minus two. Bears turnovers rated 193. Bills 193. Bills rushing yards. Wow. Two. Bears tackle for loss. 169 yards from scrimmage from Bears run back Mafute. So, sucks. You know, really, really blows. You know, I don't see nothing about Robbie Gold. San Antonio Moss, the newest member of the Chicago Bears, di did not do his part. He sucked. He had don't do anything to win the game, but didn't do anything to lose it either. Rookie punter Pat O'Neill averaged 36.5 average. San Antonio home lost one yard on a punt return. Yeah, whoopie doo. God damn. If they keep this up, they're going to probably cut his ass. So, pick and roll of the eyes in fourth. Sucks, you know. Conte has experience. Yeah, he sucks ass. Bears, please release his ass. So, you could tell how I feel about the Bears in week one. It was in Chicago. They should won that game. A lot of my friends from the Yahoo League pick them. I pick them. Bears. See them breach. I don't know who else picked the Bears. Every time I pick the Bears, they seem like they let me down. Now week two would probably be a different story. Uh, Niners are... They want to go back to the Super Bowl. And I don't know. I can't say my, who my pick. I'm going to say it right now because these is not my NFL picks. This is just my um, recap of the Bears game, okay? From uh, yesterday afternoon. Our first overtime loss for the new spanking New Year. I thought with this new uh, defense from the draft, I thought it'd be smoothly as silk. But Bears fans, it's going to take a couple of games to get this all um, gelled, you know? You know, I know the reporters and ESPN says uh, Cutler's getting MVP. You know, if he keeps this up, he's not going to get MVP for the season, okay? So, and a lot of people, lot of people just joke around. Oh, Chris Conte is going to get defense player of the year. Of course he's not. He had one good play that went interception, and after that, it went downhill, you know? So, you could tell how I really feel about the Bears in this game huge blow and the quarterback for Buffalo he had a good numbers I think he had better numbers than Jay Cutler sadly but um, Freddie Jackson from Buffalo he just tore up Bears defense it's like a um, playground it's like um, he playing like a Madden game any Madden game just tore up the freaking defense Bears Step it up in week two. I do not want to be 0-2. If it happens, it happens. But, God, our division is going to get tougher and tougher weeks to come, you know? Especially when we play our own division very, very shortly. So, this is your friend here, Team Rai Going to end this right now. And hopefully all my Bears fans will check this out. And I will do more of these. Um, every Monday, okay? Or if Bears play on Monday night, it'll be on Tuesday. So that's about it. I'm going to end this right now. And everyone have a good one. And don't forget, Bears fans, have you head up high and let's try to have a good season. Stay positive, Bears fans. Stay positive. And don't hit the panic button just yet. I'm out here. And one more thing, go Bears. Adios.